Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to explain to you how we uh, discuss progressive process, especially to a new patient who's never experienced it. So first of all, what's ha why, do you, why does someone need progressive process? Um, that's because your ability to switch focus between distance and near is impaired. It's more difficult, right? Uh, so some symptoms you may feel is that it takes a lot longer for things to become clear or sometimes your vision is just never clear. So what progressive glasses do is to help mimic the natural vision that you used to have. So you can drive safer if you're um, in meetings all day looking between like PowerPoint presentation and back to your laptop, the switch in focus will come more naturally and easily. So you're just more efficient and effective at your jobs. So progressive glasses, I need to tell you that it's great for convenience, but sometimes not best for function, okay? Uh, so what happens, I have a picture here, a chart, and it shows you what progressive lenses look like. The top part of the lens is for distance viewing, and the bottom, the middle is for computer, and the bottom is for reading. Mm -hmm. On the side, there's always some blurry vision or what we call peripheral distortion. So before your whole lens is clear, but now your progressive glasses have some peripheral distortion. So this is a basic lens. This is the oldest technology we have. It is also the most economical. Mm -hmm. But some people um, have problems with this. They, like, they find that they're tripping over things, they're bumping into things. They feel that it's actually um, dizzy. Mm -hmm. So the newest technology now, you can see this still great distance, but that wider corridor mm -hmm. for reading and computer work. Even the distance is a lot wider at the bottom, you can right. see. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's basically, you have three lenses to choose from good, better, and best. In fact, progressive glasses is hundreds of different types, but based on your prescription, based on what Dr. Chan told me earlier about your needs, I'm going to break it down to that three categories for you, right? So good, better, and best. The best is really good in a sense that it is really customized to your lifestyle. Very so we, when we order the lens, we will tell the computer, okay, this person likes to play golf, um, is also on the computer all day, um, and just drives minimally. So mm -hmm. they will basically, for those hobbies, they will maximize um, the, the computer vision um, and for golf, sometimes you do need to read that little card that you have. I forgot the name of the card. Perfect. So you have to have, you know, some good reading for that too. So based on your lifestyle and your hobbies, the best lens will customize for perfect function in your acti daily activities. So the price for this type of lens is going to be da 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 da. Uh, so they may go, wow, that's really expensive. I didn't expect it to be so expensive for progressive lenses. I'm like, that's fair. Um, that's definitely fair. So the next line um, that we can go, the middle line of the lens, is still really, really good, um, but it's just not as customized. Most people are actually very happy with it too, mm -hmm. um, but you lose a little bit more um, field of vision. Your vision, field of clarity is a little bit narrow, and you just have to move your head more. So if you don't mind kind of just doing that, and your body will adapt to it, mm -hmm. um, the middle of the lines is also really great. So the price of that is da 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 da. Wow, that's still more than what my insurance covers. It sounds really good. Um, so yeah, so we can look at the, the next level or basic level. Like I said, some patients do great in them and some patients don't do so great in them. Um, it just depends on how your body um, focuses. So based on your prescription, if it's a low prescription, I see it's like minus four or lower. Most people have no problems. I think it's just with a higher prescription um, people tend to go for like a mid or a high range lens that way. I know this is your first pair of glasses, so it's really hard to make this decision. Uh, what I can tell you that all our lenses, progressive lenses, do have a 90 day warranty, okay? So if there's any points where you feel like you wanna try to upgrade your lenses, we can do that and just pay the difference. There's no penalty there. And even if you choose, say, the highest quality of lens and it's still not working for you, sometimes you just have to go with a different brand. So we carry Hoya, that's from uh, Asia. Hoya is Japan, is it Japan, Tiffany? Or is it like Korean? One of those countries, I have to look it up. It's really oh, yeah. popular in Asia. 
Then we also have like Essilor um, from France. We have Size from Germany. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of different brands of lenses and each brand, not only does it, they actually all have really good quality lens, but just a little bit different design. So mm -hmm. we can try different lenses. So once you get them, if you're not happy, if you're having trouble with them, come back will help you find the right one there is no extra fee for you unless you're just upgrading to a totally different that's lens really style nice. right With, that's really 90 warranty yeah 90, 90 day warranty. that's what it is and i want to make a note i think when we say 90 sometimes they do come back on that 91 We're day like we are flexible it's not like mm -hmm. the lab is usually pretty good about mm -hmm. it but most people if they're really having a problem they usually come they don't wait like three months like they usually do come back pretty soon, like in mm -hmm. one or two weeks. But having said that, once you get your new progressive glasses, it takes one to two weeks to adjust to them, right? And what, what, what I always tell new patients when they buy new glasses is that, okay, you got your new glasses. If you put it on right here at the office and you feel like, oh, it's kind of dizzying, don't wear it today. Wear it the first thing in the morning tomorrow. After your eyes have a rest mm -hmm. and reset, then wear it the next day and you actually have no problem kind of just switching into it but everybody's different some people need a couple days and to build up their ability to wear these glasses mm -hmm. Tiffany can I ask you a question when it comes to lens progressive lenses if you get the best lenses does it automatically go with the best coating or do I still have to choose the coating and if it's middle of the line lens it's middle of the lens coating Okay, so we don't need to talk about, so that's the other thing. When you get the best lens, it's not only getting a wider field of vision, you're getting a brighter vision. Because mm -hmm. the less glare there is, the brighter your vision is, mm -hmm. right? Why is that important? Well, some people actually already complain that they have a hard time driving at nighttime. So usually then when they get to this age, like 56 years old, it's like, I can't see up close, I'm scared to drive at night, or I don't feel as confident. Well, the best lens will also give you great nighttime vision. And to throw in the extra things that comes with it, it's an anti-smudge because it's anti-oil from fingerprints, anti-dust, and water repellent. So if it's raining or misty outside, it will just roll off your glasses instead of staying on. It's very easy to come yeah, So off. those are the benefits. Mm -hmm. That's it for this part.